Good afternoon. I have the displeasure of reporting that my service to the city of Atlanta, a city that I love and all of its citizens, under the leadership of Mayor Kasim Reed, of whom I honor and respect, has come to an end as fire chief of the Atlanta Fire and Rescue Department. My initial suspension for 30 days came as a result of perceived and possible policy violations and Christian views expressed in a book I authored titled, Who Told You That You Were Naked? Overcoming the Stronghold of Condemnation, of which the primary target audience for the book were Christian men. A member of Atlanta Fire Rescue Department expressed concerns to a council member as to whether the book was inappropriately distributed in the workplace to employees against their desire to receive a copy of the book. The views expressed in the book regarding sexuality based upon scripture were also shared and were offensive to the council member and members of the LGBT community. It was not my intent to be hurtful to anyone. Subsequently, concerns and allegations were made as to whether my Christian convictions and beliefs regarding sexuality had resulted in hatred toward LGBT members of the department and LGBT members of the community at large, or whether my spiritual convictions and beliefs regarding sexuality resulted in a hostile work environment. Consequently, the administration had an obligation to determine if the allegations were true and felt it was best in the best interest of the city to suspend my service until a thorough investigation was complete. The four primary focus areas of the investigation were, did I have permission to write the book? Have I discriminated against any member of the LGBT community or an LGBT member of Atlanta Fire Rescue? And did I inappropriately distribute the book in the workplace? And the final issue was, was it appropriate for me to use my title uh, and to suggest that my responsibility was to cultivate a culture that glorified God. Uh, on the first issue of permission, I did gain permission from Nina Hickson, the ethics director for the city of Atlanta, who unequivocally told me it was appropriate and gave me permission legally that I could do it and use my name in the book as long as the book was not about government or the fire department she also asked for a copy of the book once I had finished. Uh, as it relates to the discrimination allegations, it was completely unfounded. The investigation shows that there are no evidence and no circumstances have I been discriminatory or hateful towards any member of the department in the LGBT community or a member of the LGBT community at large. Did I distribute the book inappropriately in the workplace? It was determined that three people that were interviewed had received a copy of the book without asking for a copy. Uh, but under that circumstance, uh, I have distributed the book only to members of the department of whom I had already established a personal relationship with as Christians. We'd either studied the Bible together, fasted together, prayed or worshiped together, or they sought me out for spiritual counseling. The book is less than $25, and we have a city policy that says that employees can give gifts as long as they do not exceed $25, and the book was a gift to those members. Uh, and then finally, the issue of appropriateness of using the office to create a culture to glorify God, which I will address in my conclusion. I want to say for the record, my spiritual convictions regarding sexuality do not equate to anger or hatred or malice towards LGBT members. The greatest of my Christian values is a love without condition for all humankind. In the fire service, I have had the privilege to live out this virtue every day for the past 34 years to the extent that I would lay down my life for anyone in the communities of which I have served and had the privilege to serve. And I would gladly do so today if the situation called for it. As fire chief of the city of Atlanta, I took an oath before the citizens of Atlanta and before God in the Atlanta City Council Chamber. I placed my left hand on the Bible 
and raise my right hand to God and before the people of Atlanta. And I vow to support the laws of the United States, the state of Georgia, and the city of Atlanta. The oath of office ended with, so help me God. If it was a violation to glorify God and cultivate a culture, I should have been fired at the very end of my oath. To, act, to enact the fullness of my office, I am driven by patriotism and faith. I embrace the vision of the city of Atlanta as a global model for multiculturalism and diversity. My seven years of service to our city has demonstrated my commitment to a faith that does justice, cultivating a culture of liberty and equality for the whole community. In all my community and personal interactions, I have shown that I am a champion for our collective movement to be renowned as a city where the pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness is a daily reality for all employees and for all Atlantans. I believe in what we stand for in the city of Atlanta. I love Atlanta and all of its people. In spite of the many differences among people groups in Atlanta, I believe our common values and common convictions are more than adequate to inspire collaboration and cooperation towards our common vision as an inclusive global city without any group compromising on deeply held personal core values. My Christian beliefs and convictions regarding sexuality do not diminish my passion and drive for an inclusive Atlanta nor equate to a propensity to hate or discriminate against others who do not share their core values. As Atlanta is a city too busy to hate, I have served as a fire chief too busy to hate. And my final remarks, ladies and gentlemen, is regarding the cultivating a culture that glorifies God. It is a phrase which summarizes the vows made by all Americans in accordance to the Bill of Rights, the Pledge of Allegiance, and all of our public oaths of office. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and that we are endowed by our Creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. 